blue. It's Is it red at the top? It's red at the top. Let's go. Sheesh. <laughs> all right. Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to start by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah by Shem, the Kakodash. I'm Tazan Yar Gamar from Coppice in Babylon, Waco, Texas. Yeah, this, this brother here by the camera is. Atiyag Napas. <laughs> All right, so uh, <laughs> under the branch of the prophets in Babylon, mm -hmm. Tampa Bay, Florida, camp, double honors to the elders and the apostles of the Great Millstone. Peace, salutation, on down to the Holy Lake. All right, we out here rebuking the holiday of Christmas because it's not biblical for our people to celebrate this holiday because we know our Lord Yahweh was born in the spring, not the middle of the day of winter. All right. Let me get that Jeremiah 1, 10 and 1. Jeremiah 10 and 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Verse 2. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. All right. Learn not the way of the heathen. And be not dismayed at the signs of the heaven. All right? The Lord told us to learn not the way of the heathen. Why? Because this is Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power. We are holy people. Holy means separate. Mm -hmm. Unto the Lord. You know? The Lord thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people upon the face of the earth. <laughs> So he require us to be at a higher standard than his other nations. You know? So that's why it says, you know, learn not the way of the heathen. We don't care about these other nations. He's dealing with the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Indians. Yeah. Alright? Get that script you had um, about the favorites. Oh, okay. dealing with you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native, Native Indians. So it's important that we do what to be separate from these other nations. We keep his law, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability, you know. And not celebrate these wicked pagan holidays from these other nations. All right, go ahead. Uh, second Ezra 5 and 27. Oh, okay, let me start in verse 24. And of all the lands of the world, thou hast chosen thee one pit, and of all the flowers there are one lily. Verse 25, and of all the depths of the sea, thou hast filled thee one river, and of all builded cities, thou hast hollowed Sion unto thyself. Verse 26. Zion, Israel, unto himself. Verse 26. And of all the files that are created, thou hast named thee one dove. And of all the, the cattle that are made, thou hast provided thee one sheep. So, Lord, Verse 27, and among all multitudes of people, thou hast gotten thee one people. And unto this people whom thou lovest, thou gavest, gavest his, a law that is approved of all. So who, who, what nation of people did he give the law to? Get that Psalms 147, you know? Forty-seven, uh, verse nineteen. He sheweth 
his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. Verse 20, he hath not dealt so with any nation. As for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Psalms 147 verse 19. He sheweth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. All right. He showed all his, his law, statutes, and commandments unto Israel. Verse 20. He had not dealt so with any nation. As for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. So he haven't done so with these other nations because he's not dealing with these other nations. So. They don't know the judgments that come uh, from disobeying, you know, which we do. This way you get the curses, Deuteronomy 28, because we didn't obey our Lord, which is why we are in the a state we are in now, captivity. Captivity after captivity. And, and still to this day, we are celebrating and following after the ways of the heathen, mm -hmm. you know. You can get that again in... Um, uh, Jeremiah. Okay, okay. What you have? Uh, I was going to come with, with uh, 2nd Ezra 3 and 36. Go ahead. Thou shalt find that Israel by name have kept thy precepts, but not the heathen. Fire. Fire. Israel has kept thy precepts, not the heathen. Mm -hmm. You know, because it wasn't given unto the heathen. One more, I, hold on. Um, Second Ezra 6 and 55. All this I have spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Verse 56. As for the other people which also come, come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing but be like unto spittle, and have likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a gusset. Perfect. The Lord don't give a damn about these so-called white people, these Edomites, you know? He, he, and he's, these uh, heathen nations, he said they're like spit. Mm -hmm. they're, they're like spit, they're like water, that, a little drop of water that falls out of a bucket, you know? Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah 10, I start again in verse 1. Hear ye the word which the, the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Jake and his Eve was like just very they was in, in a fearful in a fearful spirit 
was like, damn, we saw this, Ooh, you know, they was just like a real, you know, just scared, you know? And here, if we see it, we're, we're excited. We like, well, you know, we calling on the names, you know what I'm saying? We, we saying, y'all how about shit, y'all was shy, you know? But they, on the other hand, they're, you know, because in their mind, they, they've been, you know, they've learned the ways of the heathen, and, and, and the heathens always told them those are alien invasions, you know? Big on, on E.T. They love that damn movie. Yeah, they love E.T. You know, that was a movie I never really watched. So. It's kind of boring to me. Though. Well, I'm glad I didn't look at it. But, but yeah, you know, I, I, I remember, you know, when it came out, it was real heavy amongst Jake. You had E.T., you got the Gremlins, you know, all that was very... <laughs> Maybe somebody's tree caught on fire. <laughs> <laughs> and you could get into uh, what you want? testimony about Jake not being in the Christmas spirit. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, man. Uh, hey, I just got back from out of town, and, and uh, I'm putting my, you know, load my stuff up. Been gone since Friday, and uh, it's Jake. He was right there by my door, or by my window actually, and he was, you know, he he wasn't, he was cursing and, you know, you know, you know, doing the f, you know, saying all kind of cuss words. I ain't gonna get into it, but but he was cursing, and I, I was kind of like, dang, is he saying something to me? Is he? I mean, because he was right by my window, you know. And uh, I thought about what Elder Apostle of Ramblob said, you know, like, you know. We're living in a time where, you know, these these wicked spirits are real heavy on, on Jake as well as the heathen. So we have to be real mindful of the people that we're, we're dealing with, you know. And yeah. I know this guy, you know, he, he's he got some spirits on him anyway because he gets a check for that stuff. You know, he's, you know, so, uh, you know, I had to keep in mind of that, you know, but. If I didn't have this two for knowledge, I probably would have walked outside like, man, hey, you talking to me? Or, Ooh, you know, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? So you got to be, you know, you know, have to to be wise as a serpent and, and harmless as a dove, you know? I'm not saying to, to uh, you know, if, if something happens, you do what you got to do. But if you can avoid things, you know, avoid them. Because right now, you know, Jake is in a, in a, in a real heavy demonic spirit as well as these other heathens out here so we have to be mindful of, of how we you know deal with these people yeah because jake is trying to get a carnal reaction yeah yeah ultimately yeah and see you know then it, you know it, it, it could put me in a, in, in a situation i don't want to be in so you have to be mindful of those things you know what i'm saying because jake he's cardinal and, and here you you're trying to, to be spiritual so you have to, to, to be mindful of things like that, you know? Because these guys got all kind of wicked spirits on them, you know? But, you know, here it is, you know, this is supposed to be a, a time of, of, of happiness and joy. So called. Yeah. But, you know, it just goes to show you, like, the beloved brother, I can't think of the brother's name, but, but he put up a post here not too long ago talking about you know, the, everything about this kingdom that we live in is fake, you know, like we deal with fake people. You know, you got these women that wear these BBLs <laughs> or get facelifts and stuff, you, you know. Fake lips? Yeah. They look like they stuck their lips inside of like, uh, <laughs> Yeah. You know. With honey you, on it and shit. Fake personalities, you know, um, uh, fake food. Fake fake history you know we've, we've been taught that we weren't the people you know that there was a certain certain people that were the chosen people and you know they don't even fit that profile because you can look in Deuteronomy 28 and it show you that, that they're not the people so I mean you know we, we, we've been taught a lot of you know that's part of the fake history we have learned you know and, and it's a whole lot of other stuff that's being exposed Right now, that Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, is putting the spirit on a lot of these people to expose these things, you know? And uh, stop back and jump out 10 and 2. Okay. okay. So, 
it off, y'all. Like, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Uh, Jeremiah 10 and 2. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs, the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth cut off a tree, cut a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with so, so with the axe. One cut off a tree out of the forest, and then it's a Christmas tree. You know, you got some Jake that get a, a real tree from the like actual forest, or mm -hmm. they get the fake mm -hmm. ones. Yeah. Uh, I know when I was passing through Brian the other night, I saw a whole lot of uh, a lot of people going over to this area on the right side, and that's what they were selling. They they had all these lights out there, and they were selling Christmas trees, and I guess they had like a what do you call it? Uh, a winter. I forgot how you how you would say it, but. Uh, they tried to give you the, the spirit of how Christmas is supposed to be. You know, we're supposed to have a lot of snow and this, that, and the other, and what have you, you know. Uh, you know, but, it, you know, this is, go back to all that fake mess that, <laughs> well, we got to get salvation, man. We got to get out of here. <laughs> yeah, and they just, your family, they'll get together one time out of the year, whatever, buy gifts, and then the rest of the year, they just hate you, yeah. you know. Th you got two days. Well, I say two days. You got Thanksgiving and Christmas, and then after, and a lot of times things happen on Christmas. So <laughs> on that heathen holiday, so arguing about gifts. Yeah, they didn't get what they wanted. I got you this, and you got me that. And I didn't want a Tesla. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted a Mercedes. Yeah. See, hell? yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. So it's, I mean, you know, you, you got people out here, you know, they're very ungrateful, especially Jake. Jake's very ungrateful for whatever he's getting, whatever he has. So, or it's never enough that Jake, with with, with what Jake gets, you know. So, or, or, or I didn't get a gift. Why you didn't get me nothing? You know, all that kind of mess. So I mean, you know, and, and really, it, it's a lot of ex ex anxiety that goes into this this holiday because that's what goes on. Because a lot of people we getting gifts, and then maybe somebody didn't get a gift, so they're mad at each other. You know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, man, you ain't bought this person nothing all all year long. Now all of a sudden, you wait one day out the year to go buy them something. Yeah. Santa Claus isn't biblical. Where do you, where do you find a, a fat man, a fat Edomite with a, with a white beard, you know, sliding and rosy down, cheeks. And red cheeks sliding down your chimney with some milk and cookies. You know, where is that Jake's at? Jake's supposed Bible? to leave him some milk and cookies. Where is that at in the Bible? No, it's not scriptural. It's not scriptural. That, you know, that goes right back to Jeremiah 10 and 2. Learn not the way of the heathen. And Jake try to Jake try to be all, you know, they try to make a black Santa Claus. Yeah, every yeah, now, yeah, you're right. Every now and then you'll see a black Santa Claus and shit. And that's just confusing because mm -hmm. I used to work at this place, Lowe's, and then they'll have a white Santa Claus, and then next to it they have a black Santa Claus. So <laughs> which one is it? Is he white or black? You know? Yeah. Then, then if, 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 if uh, I had an incident one day, I, I felt insulted. I just, I didn't say nothing. I was like, okay, whatever. This, this Issaquah, right? She was like, oh, you got your beard. Are you going to be Santa Claus this year? And I was like, <laughs> I was like, I just thought, I thought about the scripture. It was a, uh, Job 39 and 17. <laughs> and I just like, you know. <laughs> Don't say nothing. Just, just let it, let it be. She said that. Yeah, man. You, you trying to be Santa Claus this year? 
You gonna be Santa Claus this year? Hey, I got a beard. It ain't got nothing to do with Santa. Far from that. <laughs> this is at work, you know, so I was like, you know, I was like, you know, let me, let me be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. So I just kind of smiled and just went on about my business. I was like, in the way I was kind of PO'd about it, you know what I'm saying? But, Jeez, man. Yeah, man, you know, but I think when she said that I walked off and, and, and didn't say nothing or didn't respond, I guess she was like, Oh, I shouldn't have said that. But, uh, you know, I didn't give her no evil look or nothing. I just kind of just looked off, kept going. But, yeah, you know, that that's that's the mindset of, of, of Jake, man. They they see a, someone, you know, that, that's all they think about it. at this time of the year is that, that kind of this heathenistic holiday, man. Satan. Yeah. Damn. Was it was it a good looking Instagram? Right? No. She was an old Instagram, right? No wonder you walked off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you got a point there too. Right? <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead and get the first. Okay. You should have been like, this is my badge of honor, no Santa Claus. Yeah, well, that's what I, you know what, I keep that in mind. Verse 3, for the customs of the of the people are, are vain. For one people are vain. The mm -hmm. Lord don't care about you with a tree in your house with ornaments. Did you get the part about the um, Jacob with silver and gold? I'm finna get to it right now. No, you know, the Lord don't care about that. Mm -hmm. For one cutteth the tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen, of the workmen with the axe. Verse four: They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. All right. So the tree literally, it'll sit there, and they have the, the ornaments, whatever, the pretty lights, little note cards in between the, the leaves of the tree. All right. Jake put a little black angel on there or Santa Claus, a white angel, whatever. And that be it. You know, with the presents, you know? So you know, the Lord knows it doesn't care about that. Because ultimately that goes back to a pagan, a pagan um holiday. Alright? Who, who started that? Nimrod? Yeah, Nimrod. Santa goes back to, uh, I, like you said, Satan. It used to be old Nick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and, and ultimately, before it was that, but I believe it goes back to ancient Babylon, the custom, um, they were, it was literally a little feast we saw had where they were just have sex with each other, have orgies, you know, but as time progressed, they had to change it because it was, it was like too disgusting, so they mm -hmm. had to change it, and they put the false meaning behind it, saying the Lord was born on that day, Yeah, you know? You know, now that you mentioned, I just thought about something. Um, yeah, I think it was in the United States that that it was outlawed uh, up until about 1836, I think. Um, Christmas, so. The stuff they was doing. Yeah. You know, you saw us fucking. Oh. Well, go back to that that favorite scriptures of uh, what was that? Uh, uh, Hebrews. You saw us profane. Hebrews 12 and 16. So they, they had to change it. You know, and that was the only uh, way they could mm -hmm. say, the make Lord it acceptable. Yeah. Which, this is the dead winter. This is not the new year. That, that's another thing our people about to celebrate New Year. Mm -hmm. And all Jake think about is kissing and popping some champagne. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
there you go. What they do? Ten, nine, yeah, eight, yeah, yeah. seven. What the hell? Here we gonna be sitting there thinking about the, uh, you know, probably, you know, us men, we'll probably be thinking about what what the elder apostle Tohar will say the year of 2024. You know, the brother always bring out a the name of uh, the title of a year. You know, uh, so we'll probably be thinking, you know, meditating on what 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 the theme will be for for, for next year, rather than be. You know, popping Chris style and, and, and pop champagne. Oh, <laughs> yeah, all that kind of stuff. You know, we'll probably be. That's probably what we'll be meditating on. What what is, what will the beloved brother? What 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 will be the theme that the brother will come up with? You know. All right, I'm gonna go, ahead, go get mine. <laughs> get the next okay. They're, they are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must, they must needs be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil, neither also it in them to do good. Get that one in Amos about the Psalms. Uh, I get it. Oh, uh, Amos 5 and 23. You got it. I'm going to it. Okay, I'm, I'm over there. Go ahead. I, I'm, this is recording. You. Yeah, 26. It's going. Okay. Amos 5 and 23. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melodies of thy vials. So take that away the noise of thy songs. It's these Christmas songs. Jake loves to hear mm -hmm, every single year. Mm -hmm. You know one Christmas song I haven't heard? Jingle Bells. I haven't heard that this year. You heard? No. You heard it? I'm pretty sure I have. <laughs> it seems like I hear it every year. I haven't heard it this year. Oh, so. You've been very fortunate then. Huh? <laughs> very fortunate. Jingle Bells this Christmas. Now I hear that every year. That one, um, what's that song they play at the beginning of Friday after next? Before Chris, uh, Craig get beat by that tree. That's Silent Oh, yeah, <laughs> Silent that, Night. That song. Yeah. Uh, what about that Rumpa Bump Bump? You man talking about some beats you can't. No. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I never oh, heard. Rumpa Bump Bump. Oh, that's yeah, that's a hard. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, that bug, that BS. The Lord don't, the Lord don't hear them. He no. don't that. You know? This is, this is, and <laughs> this is what he wants to happen. Verse, okay. what is that, uh, verse, verse 24. But let judgment run down as waters and righteousness as a mighty stream. Have ye offered unto me sacrifices and offerings in the wilderness forty years, O house of Israel? Woo, she said, let judgment run down. Like waters. You don't hear Yahushai. You're not getting your house attention singing um dashing through the snow. Or know? Jingle Bell Rock. Yeah, yeah, I haven't heard that one either. <laughs> <laughs> hey man. Oh, so. shoot. Yeah, man. But, you know, I mean, really, man. You know, you, it just shows you the more and more that you're blessed to, to you know, as the years go by, you you get more and more in tune with this knowledge. It just shows you how much we need salvation, man. How bad we're, you know, we need it, man. We we looking forward to that, man. Same Nothing song. different. Like that song say, all around the world, same song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, seriously, all bro. All around I mean, the world, same, same song. song. I mean, you know, and that's, I mean, every year it's the same thing, man. Just the same old, 
same old BS, you know. So, you know, Lord willing, we we we, we hoping, you know, we're looking to be, you know, hoping to be delivered, man. Because we're we're in the hope business. We're, you know what I'm saying? We, you know, that's why we 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 say we hope we're that we're the hopeful elect, you know. All around the world, same song. I ain't heard this song in a long time, man. It's the same. It's the hamster wheel. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You yeah, you knocked it right out the park, huh? You just a little hamster. The same thing it's every day. Mm -hmm. And just think, I gotta. Well, you gotta go back too, but I, I, you know, we both gotta go back to it tomorrow and go hit it, you know. That's how you know you're captivity. You don't want to go to work, but no, you, you, you gotta don't. go to you don't. You don't. So make your FRNs. Get that blueprint in. Sad but true. You know, uh, all around the world. <laughs> yeah, that song will be in your head, though. <laughs> Baruch 3 and 8. Behold, we are not, we are yet this day in our captivity. Read that back. Read it back. Baruch 3 and 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. To this day in our captivity. We are under the captivity of the so-called white man. Go ahead. Where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subjects to payments according to all inquiries of our fathers which departed from the Lord of our God. And that, that goes back to uh, Deuteronomy 28. So we're under the curses. Yeah, we've been here for a reproach and a curse and we're subject unto payments. Mm -hmm. Brothers gotta go to work, don't wanna go. No. Gotta deal with a bunch of demons. <laughs> Yo. Grown ass men acting like little elementary kids, screaming and shit in the middle of the floor. Mm -hmm. Having a temper tantrum. Yeah. You know? Y'all ass like 30 something. <laughs> oh God dang. Gotta deal with that, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Subject unto payments. You want to, uh, that guy tells you how our wages like bag with holes in it. Yeah, uh, Haggai 1 and 6. Yeah. Wages like, uh, wages, bags, um, bags with holes in it, man. You know, and the very end, of, what is the very end of that verse say? Group 3 and 8. Luke 3 and 8. Luke 3 and 8. The oh. last verse of Luke 3 and 8. Uh, the sins of our Lord. According to all the inquiries of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our God. So our forefathers departed from the Lord our God, which mm -hmm. is why we're in this predicament now. Which is why we honor the heathen. Yeah. You know? Haggai 1 and 6. You have planted much, but have harvested little. You eat, but never have enough. You drink. But never have your feel. A lot of Jake's refrigerators be empty and they got paid. Why is yeah. that? Bills. <laughs> you put on clothes but are are not warm. You earn wages only to put them in a purse with holes in it. Ooh. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, so. So you get paid, and the same day you get paid, you lose it. Yeah, you broke. I you mean, you, a, you know, you, you may have a car payment. You may have, uh, you insurance. know, you, yeah, insurance to pay on that car. Yeah, uh, you may have life insurance, maybe health insurance. Who knows? Uh, lights, water, light. Yeah, the gas. essentials: lights, water, and gas. Phone bill. Yeah, phone bill. Groceries. If you got kids, you gotta buy them school supplies, clothes. Yeah. And, and if you think about it, you know. Um, Toilet paper, water. I'm a little older, so <laughs> I remember when the phone bill would be somewhere no more than about seventeen or twenty dollars. You know, and this was back in the the 80s and now I, I you know we all have some our own personal cell phones you know th now this was the phone i'm talking about this was the uh the you know your your uh you what you call it the line unit i mean uh, uh what it called I, I can't think what it called it but it's you know like a your house phone that you would have at the house that you plug in and that'd be like 17 dollars or what have you you know man you, you know you, the only way it would be real high is if you made long distance phone calls or something like that. You know, but other than that, it wasn't that high. And now these, these cell phones, they're expensive. Cause you're paying for the, you're paying, and I know this personally, you're paying now, you're paying for the, uh, you're paying for your phone as well as your bill. You know, just say for instance, like I just bought, a, I just purchased the phone. So not only am I paying the, the bill of the phone, I also have to pay the bill for the phone, you know, that I'm buying. And that's going to be probably about 24 months that I'll be paying on that. Lord willing, we'll be out of here before then, but, you know, <laughs> but, but, you know, Lord willing, but yeah, you know. So. And, uh, to a pair of earbuds costs more than $20 now. You can't even get that with $20. I didn't know that. It used to come with the phone. Now you got to buy it separately. Get more money out of it. Mm-hmm. Space enough on a scale. Yeah, it is. That's what all it is, man. I mean, because if you think about it, I just thought about it. All the extra accessories that I had to get, I had to get a, a, a cover for the phone. I had to get a uh, a cover for the phone. I had to get the the, uh, the charger. <laughs> then I have a, a a special phone charger, and it's different from the charger that me and you typically use. You know what I'm saying? On like phones like this here. So yeah, like you said, brother, you you, you right. It, this place ain't nothing but a scam, man. Scam. You, you get less and pay more. Exactly. <laughs> get less and pay more. Yeah. Sheesh, man. Oh. And yeah. I mean, what, what sense does it make to, to, to pay for water, the essentials? You know, we, we, we all need food. We all need water. We all need clothing. That's another reason why this place has got to go, man. And it's illegal to collect rainwater. Yeah. This is, you got to have a license just to fish. And I remember back in the day, my dad, back in the day, you know, he he made a, I wonder if it's illegal now to make snow ice cream. <laughs> I bet it is. Probably is. Shit, you, you'll probably catch a disease. Yeah, you ain't lying. They polluted. Mm-hmm. to them that decree unrighteous decrees. Ooh. How the hell is it illegal to collect rainwater? Like Esau, you don't own the damn earth. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's the spirit of Esau. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he want to claim everything yeah, like yeah. it's his. Like he made the earth. Well, the scriptures tell you that, it, it, you know, he, he's never, he's, um, basically he's never satisfied. It, it's never enough. They didn't discover America, the Native Americans did. Exactly. 
But see, that was that was one of the lies that we that, you know we talking about fake history earlier, and that's one of the lies we were taught. You know that that Christopher when, when when I was in the first grade, that was one of the first things we were taught that Christopher Columbus uh, discovered America. And this is why uh, this is this is the tradition of Thanksgiving and all that, you know, which we found out and, and you know we found out something different, but that's the that was Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah blessing us to, to have that knowledge to know why. And um so the Northern Kingdom they have, and the scripture speaks about God, how the Lord enlarges God, because God was blessed from the Lord himself. God, God was blessed to have um, a large portion of the Americas, you know, North America to Canada, mm -hmm. you know, and it tells you in uh, Second Ezra, the 13th chapter, when the Lord uh, held back the water and allowed the Northern Kingdom to come over here and dwell. Okay. You know, so they were meant. The Lord gave them portions of this land, and God was blessed with the majority of it. Mm -hmm. You know, until. Um, the devil came over here, Christopher Cologne. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, and then on top of that, I mean, you know, Jake taught them pretty much how to plant and all that. They didn't know nothing about, you know, being, you know, how to uh, grow, you know, plant seeds or anything to make anything grow. You know, so they were just a beast. Yeah. A filthy beast at that. A filthy, hairy beast. Yeah. I mean, because at the end of the day, what happened? They they end up, you know, killing them and, and, and ravaging the women, you know, Shh. all kind of, oh, yeah. You know, just all kind of terrible things, put it no, like I that. No, I meant like, like shit. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, but I, I still got to be mindful of it. But, but yeah, you know, they, you know, they did a lot of terrible things and they got an answer for that, man. They got an answer for that. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna put a price on, on rainwater. All right, rainwater, you know. But like you say, just go back to what the scriptures, they're never satisfied, man. You know, no matter how much you do, they're never satisfied. And you probably see it in, you know, in the spirit, you probably see it at your own personal job, in your own personal walk, you know, the, the only, your own personal walk that the Lord got you on you see it, you know? I know you do, you know, especially at work, because it's never enough. Even when you think about the uh, your bills you receive sometimes, it's, it's never enough. They'll, they'll jack the price up on, on your phone. You know, who knows? They may jack up the prices on the phones going into, the, going into next year. You know, they did it before, so they, they who knows? They jacked the prices up on our, on our rent. It went from 1500 1600 See what I'm saying? So, it's it's never enough. Never. It's never enough. Never enough. It's probably going to be even higher. Yeah. And that's insane, man. I mean, that's insane. I mean, because you would think what you, you what you were praying previously was was satisfactory enough, but it's you know, but with them, like I say, like scriptures say, it's never enough. That's a good point you brought out there. Right? Yeah. That's a good example right there. Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievous which they have prescribed to turn aside the needy away, I mean, from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people that windows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. Get 
they already got in the news about the new, what's gonna call it out? What's that out? The new um, trend. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, so that might, that might be another a preview to what already happened. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, so yeah. And it's gonna be on a grander scale, of course, you know. All right, so more than enough reason for us, we gotta get out of here. Mm -hmm. Jake, our people are so, they moms right now are, are celebrating Christmas. Yeah, they're, 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 you know, Jake's in the spirit of pleasure, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. The, the song by Paul. Yeah, uh, 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 notorious B.I.G. He he had it. Uh, that's 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 the mindset of Jake. He he he's all for party and BS. You know. Jake loves playing. Yeah. He, what did Craig tell Smokey? Ain't nobody <laughs> playing but you. <laughs> you think he? And that's Jake, man. That's Jake. They they you know and, and and you know as long as Esau keep giving them bread and circuses, they're gonna keep on going on, going on and going on. You know, until the Lord, you know, and his son put a stop to it. What did he say? Uh, you walk around up and down these streets all day long playing. You think he playing by his mother? Yeah, 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 yeah. You right. Oh, you so right. Ain't you, nobody you playing but that. you. <laughs> you think the Lord playing about uh, the, these prophecies coming to pass? You got the prophets out here standing in the damn freezing cold. Yeah, yeah. Hands freezing, nose running. Yeah. <laughs> head, ears freezing. Hands. <laughs> Feet freezing, legs cold. You think we out here playing? We just no, out here man, talking no. in the cold weather for nothing? Ain't nobody playing but Jake. Yeah. Jake that's, not trying that's to hit Jake. Yeah. That's Jake. You know, but that, that's, that, uh, yeah, but, but you know, the, the scripture said what is in uh was that second timothy three where you know that that uh men would be lovers of, of uh lovers of themselves lovers of pleasure rather than go lovers of god so there Pull it is out. right Bring there that hey, that's crazy you can quote movie scriptures to <laughs> hey that's the spirit I, that's all it is it's just the spirit yeah. I love that brother, man. He always he he be having some good stuff, man. Oh, he he has some great topics. I, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody playing with you. <laughs> you think he playing about his money? Oh. Okay. Uh, Second Timothy three, and we'll start in verse one. This know also that in the last day, days, periodless times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, Fierce, despises of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Verse 5, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. Verse 6, for of this sort are they which creep into houses and leave captive silly women laden with sins laid away with diverse lust ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth so these are the times that we're living in man you know and, and you see it all the time, man. You, you you got people that lie on other people. People that have that spirit of, I love me some me. Tara Owens. <laughs> yeah, love me you know. Me. Uh, you know, truce breakers. And we saw that with 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 you know in the previous years, 
before our time, like like uh, back in the day when 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 Esau would sit down with 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 Gad and they have truces and stuff, and then they come back and you know break the truce some kind of way, whatever truce that they 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 whatever treaty they sign, they go and break it, you know. So they broke know? over five hundred. Yeah. Despisers of those that are good, you know. And God would do them peace trees with blood. Look, look at, look at things. You know, look at, you know. Sometimes we go to, we go out to eat, and people see there's something different about us, and they look at us evil in an evil way, and we like, man, what did we do to them? You know. <laughs> but we're not, you know. He's not. He's not wearing long dress, sacking his pants. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why he he's not that? talking. He's not talking like he should be talking. You know. He. He, he don't sound like he uh don't know English like yeah. he, like he in elementary school or he he not smelling like he smoked pounds and pounds of weed. Yeah, yeah. What's wrong with this dude? Boasters, you know Jake loves to boast. Oh my Brad, goodness, Jake. Ass dude. Oh man, Jake Boaster. loves to boast, man. Yeah, that, I fuck about my body count seventy plus. Yeah, <laughs> like, nigga, nobody cares. Yeah, proud, uh, very I proud. About seventy, I fuck every bitch in this in this job. Yeah, Jake love boasting about women. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just like uh, this Jake he done passed on. His name was Will Chamberlain. He boasted that he had had sex with twenty thousand women. Now, whether it was true or not. You know, That's Solomon. <laughs> I don't know, you know, because because he might have just been saying that just to sell a book. Who knows? But how you even count that? I don't know, but I mean, I don't. I, and, and he could have been, he could have been telling, he could have been lying. You know, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you really think he has sex with twenty thousand? I really don't, but you know, I really don't. But I, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that he had been with a lot of women, but. To have sex that many times, I, I don't see, it, but who knows? You know what I'm saying? But I, you know, but but that's that's part of that boasting, you know that that you know, you know, uh, Jake's a very braggadocious type of person, you know what I'm saying? He, he has no humbleness or humility about him, you know. <laughs> Unthankful, disobedient, unholy. Look what's going on with T.D. Jakes. <laughs> Ooh, I'm glad you brought him up. Man, this dude, this dude walking around with a, a purple dress on talking about, don't you want to get swallowed? You saw that video? Oh, I ain't seen that. But Man. but see, you know, it's like Elder Pastor said, he needs to come on out and say what he got to say. You know, he either got to come out and deny it or, <laughs> or you know, Whatever you know, uh, admit or admit to it or what have you. You know what I'm saying? They say his ass is posted up with P Diddy. Yeah. So he he's got a. Now you got me thinking about you. Me? No. I no. Gonna... No. What is that? What, what is no? No. You know that, that's this inside joke. Let me tell you what it is. What we always say. What you always say that you have me rolling. He's got a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> uh, that's yeah. what I meant by that. I'm sorry, Rock. I don't want really to put you on the spot like it, but that's, but, but, but that's what I meant. I don't want to put you like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, you always say that. And I was, you know, that's that's one of your uh, your pet peeve words, phrases you love to say. So you know, yeah, he's got a lot of yeah. He he, he right. You you hey, you can say that again. Speaking of lights and uh, look, <laughs> we were just talking about this. Look, that's Jake. Speaking of lights and uh, reindeers, Santa Claus, there you go, right there. Yeah. You'll see if you hit the dang yeah, record, yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> we have to do a take three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's Jake, man. Christmas spirit. People will waste gas riding by looking at all these houses that have all these lights. <laughs> you know, I like, man, I could be at home. You know, gas tank be on E. Yeah, trying to go around all night trying to look at these places. And, and, and then on top of that, you know, that, you know, I don't know, 
they probably still do it. The newspaper they used to have it where they would show you all the different addresses you could go by and had they their houses lit up with all these lights. I'm like, man, shit. All the things that's going on in this earth, and this this is the this is what you put in the paper, you know. But that just shows you that this this side of the world is full of folly, man. That's all it's about is folly. Red and circuses, you know. So many other things oh. about to come up on this earth, <laughs> and this is what you put in your paper right here. This this madness right here. All the different locations to go see all these lights. Oh. And they used to like compete with each other. They don't really oh, yeah. do that no more. Because you know the Lord took the mirth of this place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it's vastly different from how it was in the compared to the 90s. 2010s. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, it, it, you know what, I, you're right. You, you can go back as far as the 2010s and see things have vastly changed. Ah. I know the elder apostles, they always bring out that um, you know what happened in 2001 was was a, was a, one of the biggest things that that took the mirth out of this this side of the earth right there. You know when all that you know when all that happened, you know that madness happened. You know so that that was a big part of it. And then you go you go further. What. Uh, what uh, you say? What about 19 years later? You know, you you got what happened three years ago. So you guys, you know, so much, so much, uh, so much happening. You know, and, and and the Lord has took the mirth out of out of this earth, man. 20 was a hell of a year. Yeah, it was. It really, and, and it's vastly changed a lot of things. You know, that they try to bring things back to a certain extent, but it, it'll never be how it was, you know, because the Lord is, you know, you know, we're, we're in the beginnings of, of, uh, of those birth pains, you know? <laughs> you birth pains? Yeah, I mean, you know, everything's about, was about to change, bro. And you can see it, you know, in the spirit, you can see it, you know, we, we ain't there yet, just all the way there yet, because we've got to have Jacob's trouble, you know? It's just a matter of time. But it's a matter of time, and, bro. Uh, we, 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 you know, just through the spirit, we can tell that it, it this, through the spirit, we can tell that things are, are gonna vastly change even more. Drastically. Put it like that, drastically change. Wait till these jobs start laying people off again. Yeah. Especially Amazon. Amazon doing it in the heartbeat. Yeah. Oh yeah, you you know firsthand about that. So yeah. Oh, yeah, lay it off. Huh? Getting close to those prophecies, bro. Real close. You could finish out that verse you had, though. About uh, the uh, boasters. And... Oh. Okay. This man digging in his pocket. Yeah, I got to go back <laughs> in my pocket. Okay, wow, wow. That's right. That's the spirit. It came right back. I'll read it again. Uh, this is, this, this no, and this is uh, 2 Timothy 3. And I start in verse one. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. And we're there. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, Incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godly de godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. Denying the power. For of this sort 
are they which creep into houses and and led captive silly women laden with sins led away with diverse lusts ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth yeah so they're learning a lot of things but they're not learning this truth and this is this is right now this is the most valuable piece of information that you could have right now how much more than jacob's trouble when you gonna need it the most yeah what uh, isaiah, isaiah 10, 3, 6. <laughs> yeah. the wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of, of thy, thy times, times. That's exactly what's keep you stable. yeah so you can tell you can you can just imagine in the spirit how much these people are going to lose it man you know and we're 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 blessed to have this truth and knowledge and lord willing the lord will will, will bless us to keep it you know and um jay gonna lose it when they don't have their weed yeah exactly when they don't have their weed they don't have their their uh whatever little uh uh Little things that they like. To, oh, their cell phones. Cause I was thinking about that cell phone. That, that's another thing. Yeah, you you could say the you could also say the, the drugs. You know, but yeah, them cell phones. Well, you're not taking pictures of yourself a thousand times. Yeah. A day. Yeah. You're not on Facebook. You're not not being able. Yeah, like you say, not being able to. <laughs> you know get those pictures or take pictures and all that kind of stuff then what what are you gonna do then and you know and I speak I speak about a lot of these people are in my age group whereas back in the day in my age group they didn't know nothing about social media it wasn't even such thing so a lot of them gonna lose it too you know not to mention the ones that it was born into the social media life you know so to speak so yeah man it, it's a lot of madness because i was thinking about i was like you know i was thinking about how some, a lot of these women they they love they they phone man i mean it's like you go to the you know like when i'm at my job you know it used to be that people would talk to each other here and there you know but now people just they're just on you know got their head down on their phone it's like damn is this how you communicate with people now just just through your phone you know especially if you got a family and y'all it's not in order and y'all at the dinner table all everybody looking down at the phone yeah and then i mean you know that that's something that never happened back in the day you know i mean you know so <laughs> you know those, those are the times that we're living in now you know that's that's the way people communicate now is through their phones you know they don't you know they don't know how to talk one-on-one -on -one. you know that that's that's another part of, of what that's another part that, that broke broke up the the uh the conversation between man and woman you know is that phone <laughs> you know, and who knows that they, 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 oh, the no, phones are, the phones may shut down. Who knows? We fix it where the sh phone shut down. You ain't gonna be able to communicate. All right, I'm Tazi Yard Kabar from Prophecy Babylon, Waco, Texas, under the branch of the Prophecy Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida Camp. The waters to the elders and apostles of GMS. Peace and salutations to the Oakley elect. This brother here, Atiyah Kinnapash, you're going to say Shalom. Shalom. All right, till next time. <laughs>